As I scroll, these sections stack on top of each other like cards. And after that's done, my website scrolls like normal. Now, when I scroll back up, the same thing happens in reverse and cards are unstacking like this. So this is a popular design called stacking cards on scroll and I've created a simple design here to demo this. But you can also make designs like this or this using the steps I'll show you today. And yes, it's completely free. Now, if you've never tried this before or tried it and did not get a good result, don't worry. This tutorial will help you because all the assets and code I'm using are linked in the pinned comment below. And I've tested everything myself multiple times, so I know it all works. We'll do everything step by step. So let's get started. First, we need to create the main container that will hold all the stacking cards. This is the foundation for the entire effect. So we want to get it set up right. Inside Elementor, I'm gonna add a full width container. Since the cards will stack on top of each other, I'll set the container's direction to vertical. Then I'll adjust the minimum height to 100VH, which makes the container fill the entire screen height. To make sure everything is perfectly aligned, I'll set both justify content and align items to center. This way, the cards stay nicely centered in the middle of the screen, no matter the screen size. For some breathing room between the cards, I'll add a gap between rows and columns of 40 pixels. Lastly, in the advanced tab, I'll give it a top and bottom padding of 80 pixels. Then, assign the CSS class, all cards, to this container. This will help us when we add custom CSS later. Now that the container is ready, let's create the first card that will stack. This card will be acting as the template, so we'll add all the styles and content here and then duplicate it later. Okay, so inside the all cards container, I'll add a new full width container that will become the first card. Let's do that. In the layout settings, I'll make the card 75% of the container's width. For height, I'll set a minimum height of 82VH, which makes the card large enough to stand out but not overwhelming. Next, let's make this card visually appealing by adding a background video. I'll head to the WordPress media library, copy the link to a video I've uploaded and paste it into the video link column in the background settings. Don't forget to toggle the play on mobile option to make sure the video also plays on mobile. Then let's head to the background overlay and set the background color to black the opacity of 0.4. I think this works. To make sure there's enough space for the content inside, I'll add 50 pixels of padding on all sides in the advanced tab. Then I'll assign this card a Z index of one, which will make it stack properly when we add more cards. Lastly, I'll give this container the class name card one. Now let's bring this card to life by adding some content to it. Inside the card container, I'll add another container that will hold the content. I'll set the direction of this container to column vertical and to make sure everything looks perfectly centered, I'll set the alignment of this container to center center. First, I'll add a heading widget and in the title, I'll add the text Iceland. Then in the typography settings, I'll select Montserrat as the font, set the size to 105 pixels, make it bold with a weight of 800 and add eight pixels of letter spacing. To make it pop, I'll set the text color to white. Now this gives the heading a clean, bold and modern look. All right, I'll add a text editor, icon and button below the heading and style them one by one from the left panel. And this is how it should look. All right, our first card is ready. Now let's make it responsive. On mobile devices, we want this design to look just as clean and functional as it does on desktop. So I'll switch to mobile view in Elementor and make a few adjustments from the left side. For the main container, I'll reduce the padding to 40 pixels on the top and bottom and 10 pixels on the sides. Then for the card itself, I'll set the padding to zero so it fits better on smaller screens. I'll also adjust the font sizes and spaces for the heading and text to make them more readable on mobile. 
Next, I'll set the width to full width and set align self to start. Lastly, I'll shrink the button size to 15 pixels to keep it balanced on smaller devices. Now that the card is responsive, it's time to create the stacking effect. So I'll switch back to desktop view. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my side speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Now that the card is responsive, it's time to create the stacking effect. So I'll switch back to desktop view. But before creating more cards, I need a shadow effect on this card for depth. So first, I'll head to the border in the style tab, set the black tint and the box shadow and then adjust these values to give it visual depth. Now that the card is ready, I'll duplicate the first card three times to create a total of four cards. Each card will stack on top of the previous one as you scroll. I'm just going to name these cards card 1, card 2, card 3, card 4 for distinction. I'll also assign new class names to each card. Card 2 will have the CSS class card 2 and a Z index of 2. Card 3 will have a Z index value of 3 and CSS class as card 3. And finally, card 4 will have the Z index of value 4 and CSS class as card 4. It's important that you assign these values correctly. If you don't put the Z index in this way, they will simply not stack. Okay, the cards are ready. Now I'll customize the background videos and content of each to make it unique. That's done. It should look like this. Finally, let's add the custom CSS that makes the stacking and unstacking effect happen. I'll go to the advanced tab of the main container and scroll down to the custom CSS section. Here, I'll paste the code I've written, which you can get from the pinned comment below. This code controls the stacking unstacking and background freeze effects as you scroll through the page. You can also add a border radius to each card to make it look sleek and smooth. All right, now it's time to preview the design. Let's preview it. I'll scroll through the page to make sure everything works as expected. As I scroll down, the cards should stack smoothly one by one while the background stays still. When I scroll back up, the card should unstack in reverse. And of course, I'll check the mobile view to ensure the responsiveness. And yeah, looks good there. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.